low impact walking workout here today. Thank you so much for meeting me back here. Or if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. We're gonna get you set up here really quick, really easy here today. Just some space to move, some comfortable footwear. We are going to be using our walking exercises to help us not only burn fat and calories, getting those steps in today, we'll also be working on toning those muscles and of course, improving joint health. Get everything set up and we're gonna get started right now. Let's go ahead and start it off, pedaling those feet, nice easy movement through those arms. I'm sure we're all ready to get right on into the workout. Give me just a few seconds here to warm up, especially through those lower body joints. I wanna make sure that they feel good now, during and after the workout. Take it to the right ankle, a few circles out, a few circles in. Same thing on the left side, a few circles out. Take those in. Step it just a bit wide, hips side to side. Soft bend in those knees, and when you're ready, give me three circles moving to the left direction. And then you guessed it, three circles to the right. Stand on that left leg, give me three kicks here with that right foot. And then same thing, three on the left. Three more on the right. Last set, we're gonna get walking. Three on the left. And take it to our march. Great job. Pick up that heart rate easy here. Move just a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. We'll get right into that first exercise in a few seconds. Before we do, just a quick reminder to listen to your body today. Take modifications when you need them. Slower, smaller movements, and if that doesn't improve how the exercise feels in your body, substitute something else in. Keeping yourself safe is the first priority here today. First exercise, we're gonna go starting with the right foot. Out, out, in, in. Easy steps here. Out, out, in, and in. Repeat. As the body warms up, see if you can take some bigger arms. Maybe come a little bit lower into those legs. More of a push. Find some good work for yourself here. One more set, and we'll step that right foot forward. Left arm is gonna go here, elbow right to the rib cage. Toggle step. Work this arm open, keeping the elbow in, and back and forth through the feet. More of a step. If you need that modification, speed it up if you can. Let those feet be challenged here. We're working on a little bit of foot strength. We're working on some rotator cuff strength. Few more, we'll go right into our next exercise, which is going to be a high knee march. Let's go in three, two, and one. Start with that right knee and left. Any arms that work for you. Open and close, a little bit bigger. Intensity, keep them close and low for lower intensity.
four more. Reach those arms up overhead. You're gonna step out to the side, drop and together, opposite, alternating here. Use those core muscles as you lower and lift. Modification for the shoulders. Reach it down from the waist. They do not have to come overhead if that's uncomfortable through the shoulder joint. Four more. Go ahead, take that left foot out front, right arm, toggle step here. Keep that elbow in close to the waist. Hand goes in and out in a range of motion that's comfortable for you. Don't try to work yourself into a bigger movement than what feels natural. It'll increase over time. Keep it as quick as you can here to keep that heart rate up. We're going to go out, out, in, in, leading with the left leg this time. Let's go here in three, two, and one. Great job reversing where we're putting the strength here, opposite side of the body. Can't have just one good side, you got to have two. Out, out, in, in. Modification, keep it short, keep it tall. If you can, dig in to a little bit more work. Last one here. Great job, bring it to the center and march. Give me those arms. Take a second here to evaluate how everything is feeling. I'm gonna keep you moving throughout this whole workout here today. We are about halfway through the first round. We've got a total of three rounds. Step that right leg on out, right arms, reach up over to the side, step it together and down. I'll keep it a little bit more moderate pace here. So if you get a little mixed up, you can come back and follow with me. Once you've got it, speed it up. Of course, if that feels good for you. On that reach down, use the core to power that movement. Four more. Last one there, leave it wide. Butt kicks, give me some arms. Pull back without pushing the belly button and low back forward. Core muscles pull in tight here. Let them support that low back. Four more. Hold it here. Elbows come to the waist, hands right below the chest. We're gonna tap it into the center, opposite hand punch.
find that work here. Come on, <laughs> speed them up if you can. Strong, feel those core muscles working. Four more. Hold it here to the center, right arm, left leg, and then alternating opposites here. So tap it to the front. Reach that arm out wide. Modification, take that arm lower. If that shoulder joint's a little sensitive in this movement, Four more. Load those arms over to the left. Step it in, down towards the right side. Opposite side this time. Don't miss the work for those core muscles. Last exercise, first round. Two more rounds to go. You're doing so great, hang in here. Four more. Last one. March it out. Great job. We have two more rounds and I want you to challenge yourself here. That could look a variety of ways. You could either speed up a little bit. Maybe you don't want to speed up. Maybe you just make bigger movements. Maybe you do both. Find what is a good fit for you on turning up the intensity on the second round. If you can, we're gonna go right leg out, out, in, in. We're familiar with these exercises this round. Everything should be just a little bit easier. We found the modifications that we needed. You're doing a wonderful job. Hang in here. Four more. Pull that left arm in. Our right leg comes to the front. Forward and back. I'll give you that side view here. Left heel's coming down to the floor, getting a nice ankle stretch. That foot, that left foot is pushing me back up. Right foot is balancing and stabilizing me. Both feet are working here. Left elbow staying into the rib cage. High knees in three, two, and one. March it at any pace you can. Get those arms as big as you can. Four more. Arms reach up overhead. Step it to the side. Try to make it a full step to a flat foot. If you need a modification, you can do more ball of the foot and toes. 
Of course, arms can stay lower too. Four more here. Bring that right arm in, left foot forward. Toggle step here. About halfway through this second round. I guess that means we're also about halfway through the workout. We're doing three rounds. Great job. Let's go out, out, in, in with the left side leading this time. See if you can work in some arms. Four more to go here. On this last one, go ahead, step it out wide. Butt kicks, give me some arms. Four more. Reach those arms up and over to the right, down to the left. Use those core muscles. Great job here. Four more. Last one. Leave it a little bit wide. Right foot, left arm. Alternate sides. Four more. Two and one. Right here, step it out. Open those arms. If this overhead raise feels uncomfortable for any reason, take it lower. We just need these, these body parts moving. Just keep moving. Four more. Take those hands over to the left. Step it down and in over to the right.
four more here. March it in, great job. Great news, one more round. You are very familiar with all of those exercises. So this should be your best round yet. March it here. Allow the heart rate to increase or decrease or just stay the same, whatever your body needs. Starting with the right leg, out, out, in, in, let's go. Keep those arms moving. arm. You're doing a great job hanging here. Last time you got to see it for this side here. Today we still have the other side to do, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost done. Let's take it to those high knees. Can you speed it up just a little bit? Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Last round here. I want you to try to push through this round, get as much as you can out of it. Four more. Raise those arms overhead, step and drop. Let's take it four more here, last four, last two, and we'll go out, out, starting with the left, and in. See if you can dig into a little extra leg work here. Make sure everything stays really happy with that though, especially through those knees. Four more. Last one here. Take that left leg out to the front. And toggle step, work that right rotator cuff at the same time. Way through this last round that is a good feeling step it to the front over to the right reach push down to the left last four here Last one, leave it wide. Butt kicks, give me some arms here.
four more to go. Step it in. Give me that opposite arm jab. Two more exercises. Four more. Hold it here. Tap it out. Open the arm. High or low, whatever feels good in your body. Last four. Bring those hands over to the left. You might have got a bonus one there. Take it down to the side. This is it right here, last four. And march it in, great job. Slow it down just a little bit. At the beginning of this workout, I said, I'm sure we're really eager to get started. Let me warm you up. Same thing here at the end. I'm sure you are ready to go and get back to your day. Give me just a few seconds here to cool you down. Like I said, I want this body to feel good before, during, and especially after this workout. Toes to the front. Easy through those arms. Start regaining control of the breath. Heels to the front. Flex those toes up. Wonderful job with this workout here today. Nothing really complicated, just some really great solid exercises that flowed easily from one to the next, kept us moving. Pedal the feet. We're gonna work our way back. Great job. Breathing should be easing back to normal rate. Step it out. Ankle circles right. Reverse. Shift weight over. Take it on the left side. Three easy kicks with the right foot. Check in with those knees. Easy on the left. One more time each side. Step it wide, hips. Lean it to the right, swing it around. Half circle on the back, lean it to the left. Soft bend stays in those knees. Great job here. When you're ready, roll it to the center. Drop those arms, give everything a little wiggle, and then roll it on up. You are all done. Thank you so much for joining me for another great workout. Or like I said at the beginning of this video, if it was your first workout with us here on the channel, so excited to have you and I hope that you enjoyed it and consider meeting me back here for the next amazing workout. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button before you head out today. It is always free to do that.